The BPL Pump Condition Monitor provides supervisory status of various protection and indicators installed into modern submersible pumps. This is an exhibition model showing the pump condition monitor and a graphic representation of a section through a pump. The monitor will display the status of sensors which provide pump and motor protection. The seal monitoring section will indicate the integrity of water barriers giving a visible display of current status. Bearing temperatures are indicated. The pump will alarm or trip the pump if preset limits are reached. Cable short or open circuits are detected, indicated and alarmed. All changes of state within the pump are date stamped and recorded for a rolling three month period providing historical information for pump use. Data is recorded every three minutes or on a change of state event. The software files required to download the data will depend on which operating system you are running on your laptop. For Windows XP you will need to download USB drivers and initial connection to the pump condition monitor. These can be found on the CD that came with the pump condition monitor. Instructions on how to download the drivers can be found in the technical manual which is also on the CD or can be requested by contacting us. If you are running Windows 7 or above this will not be required. All Windows systems will require a communication type software to enable the laptop and pump condition monitor to communicate between each other. As well as the software you will require a USB-A mail to B mail cable. This must be connected before any download can begin. The software recommended is Putty Exe and can be found on the CD that came with the pump condition monitor. Alternatively it can be downloaded at www.putty.org. The following instructions are to demonstrate how to set up Putty XE and use it to upload data from a pump condition monitor. Once installed and the pump condition monitor is connected to the laptop via the cable, open Putty XE. On opening, a box will appear. On it, you will see a list on the left hand side. Click on Serial and a box will appear. Complete the required information as follows. Select a serial line. Please note that the serial line to connect to will depend on which port your USB cable is connected to. Ours is set at COM3 in this case. To configure the serial line, click Speed 2400 Data bits 8 Stop bits 1 Parity None Flow control DSR forward slash DTR Now select logging from the left hand list and complete the box as follows Session logging, click Principal Output. Log file name, select your choice of file name. The one entered PCM test 1 is just an example. Note you will have to change the file name before starting any new downloads. Click Browse to select the location to store the generated file. Our example shows it to be saved on the desktop. What to do if the log file already exists? Click on Ask the user every time. Tick Flush log file frequently. Options specific to SSH packing logging. 
tick omit known password fields. Now you will need to set up session details. Click on session from the left hand list in the box. A screen will appear and you need to complete it as follows. Once you select serial as the connection type, the serial line will use the port you selected earlier and also the speed. Give the save session a name and then click save. BPL PCM is just an example that we have used. For future downloads, the operator can access saved sessions, therefore removing the need to reconfigure the settings each time. The saved session will appear in the list and the operator need just click on it and press load. You are now ready to run. Click open and you will get a blank screen. Press enter and the following menu will be shown. Press the number 1 on keyboard which will then give you the option to upload the data or exit. Press the number 1 on keyboard again. It will ask you if you are ready to download the data. Type Y. The data will then be downloaded to your PC. Type E to exit upload data menu and return to the main menu. Type E again until the monitor utility exited as screen below. Close the window to exit the session. The public condition monitor data you have just downloaded can be found in your selected file in your selected location. The data can be viewed by opening the file in Notepad or similar.